All right, so here you can see I've already gotten started on the grow out uh, container, um, but I'm gonna go over real quick the setup and all that you'll really need uh, to have a very basic grow out for your froglets. Um, so here I have 128 ounce deli container. And I've added some holes, very small holes, it's kind of out of focus, um, for, vi for ventilation and just for air transfer. Um, not very many, I'm probably going to add some more, but I kind of got tired of doing that, so I stopped. But I'll pick it back up here once this video is over. Add a little bit more. Um, and as far as what you're going to add in first, you know, you can do a substrate besides just sphagnum moss, uh, like APG mix, or you can do just straight sphagnum moss. Um, I've done, or I've opted to do both this time around. I had a half bag of APG mix left over. Um, I added a portion of that in first, and then some, some handfuls of spag moss added that in mixed it up um, a little bit primarily even the spag moss on top of the ABG and then I gave it a good spring with my hand mister here get it all nice and wet uh, let the spag moss soak up all that moisture and then next just add leaf litter on top of it pretty simple I'm gonna use uh, oak leaf because that's what I always use in my vivs um, and it's what I have on hand. You can use whatever leaf litter you want to use, however. It might not even be a bad idea to use uh, leaves that are slightly larger. Reason being for that, it might be a little bit easier to uh, check up on your froglets with the larger leaves, so you're not digging around as much, stressing them out. Because they will certainly dive right under this uh, as soon as you add them in. Alright, that's good for now. I'll probably go back in and add a little bit more. And then just some leaf cl clippings. For now, I'm just going to throw a few in here. Just that I, just a couple that I grabbed from my Terrabilis tank. Um, that was a little overgrown. I don't expect them to survive. If they do, that's cool, but that's not the purpose of throwing them in here for. Just a little extra cover. Um, so, I don't have anybody to add into this right now. However, as you just saw, I got a couple of tadpoles popping their front legs, uh, two today. So I got them in their individual cups. They should be crawling out of the water here pretty shortly, and once they do, they will be added right into here. And I got a whole bunch more tadpoles coming. I can see their front legs are about ready to pop, so um, I will add probably the majority of them to this temporary grow out. And once they get a little bit more size, I'll add them to the 10 gallon. I mainly want to add them to this one first so I can keep a, a better eye on them versus adding them to the 10 gallon right away. Um, and then next, next step for this right here, probably one of the more important two, is I'm gonna seed it with a boatload of springtails. Um, and you know what, let me go grab a culture real quick and show you how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so here's one of my bigger uh, springtail cultures that I'll be using to seed this grow out. Not bad. Um, what I typically do, I'm not doing in this video because I need one of my hands to film, but I have a turkey baster. And what I do is I'll tilt it till they all start to come towards the edge of that water, and then I'll take the tur turkey baster, suck up that water, and then shoot it in there. Uh, but for today, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a little bit in 
trying your best not to let the charcoal go in. Not a big deal if it does, you just pick it out. There you go. I'll add more over the next couple of days. Sprinkle a little food in there as well. So they get something to munch on. And you'll be set. Um, once the froglets get added in, they're going to have their tail for several days. Uh, and they'll be absorbing it slowly over those uh, few days after they get put on land and while they're absorbing it they won't eat anything so but as long as you get uh, springtails going nice and good when you first put them in uh, that's that that's the key that way they have plenty to munch on uh, once they are ready to go and start consuming springtails and, and food um, and depending on what type of frog you're raising um, once they get big enough you'll start eating it introducing the mellows fruit flies these will be terrabilla so it won't be long before they're ready for fruit flies all right guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe stay safe out there